In this tutorial, I will show you two ways to lip sync your animation using the one and only Canva. One traditional easy way and two more creative and fun way. Here we have the moon talking as well as the little boy astronaut talking on top of the moon. We start by creating a design and go down to video 1910 by 1080. I'll go to my projects which I've already done and our first page we have the traditional default animation. If you click on elements and scroll down you'll see the animation that Canva provides for you so your job is done. You just click on eyes moving or this bird talking on the phone. The animation is already done for you. All you need to do is drop it onto your timeline and create a little fine design with it. Our second way is go onto YouTube and type in lips talking animation and you'll see a variety of lips that you can download and use as your assets. Now once you've downloaded it off YouTube, I'll use a video editor. What I'm using today is CapCut. I sincerely recommend using this for some of your videos because it's very effective. I go to new projects, click on import and you go ahead and look for animation that you've downloaded off YouTube. In this case, here we are. Now we have a lips moving with the green screen background, which is very important for later. Drag it down to our timeline and scroll to the portion we want to use. So I want to use these lips. Now you can drag this out if you want to use other talking lips. Some look cartoonish, but what I want to do today is use the ones that look very real. And once you're done there, you just splice the piece that you don't want. We go up to video, go to cutout, this is the very important here. We want to click on chroma key, click this eyedropper. We click it once to show the eyedrop icon. And then we just click on the green and we want to strengthen it. So around 20, 30% to get rid of the green lines around the lips. That looks good right there. And we'll go ahead and export onto our desktop and then import it into Canva. Let's get to the exciting part. So I went to uploads and you can see I have the lips already uploaded and what I want to do now is put it onto our Canva and adjust it to fit into the move. You make our adjustment and then we want to move it over the previous thin lips and as you can see here it's very important for us to cover it. We want to type in shapes into our search bar and look for circles or triangles whatever it takes to cover up the drawing previously. And the way I do that is to go on to shapes and then click animate, click on the color, add a new color, go to the eyedropper, which is very key here. And we want to just click at the very edge so we can match the color of the moon. Once we've done that, we just move our lips onto between the eyes and then hit play. Now you would notice something here doesn't look right. And that's because we need to put the circle in the background so we just go ahead and layer it and send it backwards and there you go go ahead and hit play now we have a talking moon let's pull up our second canva video and the same thing applies circle to match the color of his face and completely cover and blend his mouth. And then I'll go ahead and drop my animated lips and make it more alive. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy the feeling when all your projects come together exactly the way you envisioned it. See you in the next video.